Hi, and welcome to the Learning Zone. I'm Mr. B. In this video, I will explain how to perform density calculations using the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law may be easily rearranged to determine the pressure, the volume, the amount in moles, or the Kelvin temperature of a sample of a gas. However, the ideal gas law may also be modified to determine the density of a gas. The key to using the ideal gas law is in the value of R, where R represents the conditions of one mole of an ideal gas at STP. The value of R is 0 0.0821 atmospheres times liters divided by moles times K. To determine the density of a gas using the ideal gas law equation, we should begin by substituting. If we substitute the mole calculation for N in the equation, PV is equal to NRT now becomes PV is equal to mass divided by molar mass R times T. Now cross multiply. Cross multiplying the molar mass will generate the following relationship where now molar mass P times V will equal mass times R times T. Now divide through by V. This will yield molar mass times P is equal to mass times R times T divided by V. And of course now dividing through by RT we will generate the density calculation, where now molar mass times P divided by R times T is equal to mass divided by volume, volume, where mass divided by volume represents the density calculation. Let's apply the density calculation to a simple practice problem. Consider the following. What is the density of neon gas at 88 kPa and 30 degrees Celsius? Clearly the first step in solving this practice problem is to perform the appropriate conversions where when using the ideal gas law equation in any capacity the pressure must be in atmospheres and the temperature must be in Kelvin. To convert 88 kPa to atmospheres, divide by 101.3 kPa per atm. This will equal 0 0.87 atm. To convert the temperature to Kelvin, add 273 to 30 degrees Celsius. This will generate a Kelvin temperature of 303K. Now simply insert the information into the density calculation, where according to the density calculation, D is equal to molar mass P divided by RT. Now insert the data. 20 grams per mole times 0 0.87 atm divided by 0 0.0821 atm times liters divided by moles times K times 303K. Clearly, the moles, the atmospheres, and the K will cancel, leaving us with units of grams per liter, which are the units for density. And the numerical value for the density of the sample will be 0 0.699 grams per liter. Now let's use the density calculation to determine the molar mass of the gas. Consider the following. The density of a certain gas at 27 degrees Celsius and 98.66 kPa is 2.53 grams per liter. Calculate its molar mass. Clearly the first step in solving this practice problem is to perform the appropriate conversions, where one conversion will be a temperature conversion. To convert 27 degrees Celsius to Kelvin, simply add 273. This will generate a Kelvin temperature of 300 K. To convert the pressure to atmospheres, divide 98.66 by 101.3. 
98.66 kPa divided by 101.3 kPa per atm will equal 0 0.974 atmospheres. Now we simply insert the information where the density 2.53 grams per liter is equal to molar mass times P, which is 0 0.974 atmospheres divided by R times T. Rearranging the equation to now solve for molar mass generates the following, where molar mass is equal to density times R times T divided by P. Inserting the data, molar mass will equal 2.53 grams per liter times 0 0.0821 atmospheres times liters divided by moles times k times 300 k divided by 0 0.97 atmospheres. Clearly the atmospheres, the liters, and the k will cancel and the molar mass of the gas will be 64 grams per mole. Let's end the lesson by calculating the density of a sample of ammonia gas. Consider the following. What is the density of ammonia gas at 300 torr and 25 degrees Celsius? Once again we use the density calculation where density is equal to molar mass times P divided by R times T. However, we should begin by performing the appropriate conversions. To convert torr to ATM, we simply divide 800 torr divided by 760 torr per ATM. This will generate a pressure of 1.05 ATM. To convert the Celsius temperature to K, we add 25 degrees Celsius plus 273 K. This will generate a Kelvin temperature of 98 K. Inserting the information into the density calculation generates the following. 17 grams per mole, which is the molar mass of ammonia, times 1.05 atmospheres, divided by 0 0.0821 atmospheres times liters, divided by moles times K, times 298K. In this case, the moles, the atmospheres, and the K will cancel and the density of a sample of ammonia under these conditions will be 0 0.73 grams per liter. It is important to remember that when performing any calculation using the ideal gas law equation or any modified form of the equation, the pressure must be in atmosphere the volume must be in liters, and the temperature must be in Kelvin. This concludes my explanation of how to use the ideal gas law equation to perform density calculations. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.